Well, good day. We're back with the Goth family in Sims 4. And today we're going to show you guys, well, Cassandra's future husband. Still, they haven't met, but little, little Elsa here, right here, is really sad because she haven't met them yet. And, oh, hi. Bye. Bella was walking by and she saw Elsa. She's like, hi, are you Elsa's father? Oh, yeah, I am. Hi, how are you? Who are you? And how do you know her? Or I am Bella. I'm, uh, I'm one of your neighbors here in this world. In Willow Creek? Oh, really? That's nice to meet you. Yeah, we saw Cat. We saw your daughter, Elsa, a while ago. And hi, Elsa! It's nice to see you again. Oh, hi, Bella. Finally, we got to see you. Where's Cassandra? We want Cassandra to come visit. Oh, I forgot. I didn't tell her to come by. See, I didn't know where you live. What, what, who's Cassandra? Oh, Cassandra. She's someone you have to meet, Papa. She's really nice. Please, Papa. you got to meet her. Oh, my. Maybe someday. Yeah, she's, you know, your daughter really liked her. Yeah, I did. I liked her so much, Papa. Oh, daughter, you're being silly. Well, maybe one day, you know, we can come over. Okay, why don't you come over now and have some food with us, since you're our first neighbor we met. Wow, thank you. This hamburger is so good. You're a great cook. And what's your name again? Jess. Jess it is. Well, now I have to go to work, you see. I work in the hospital. Well, see you guys later. So, my dear Elsa, it's really nice to see where you live now. So, you live near this the train station? Yes, I do. I just really hope Cassandra can come over. It's so lonely here. Hi, Papa. How was your work? Oh, hi. So, did, did that lady leave? Yeah, she did. So, when are you going to meet Cassandra, Papa? Honey, not yet. I really have no time. I'm so sorry. Papa. Believe me, you like her. Oh, I just... I'm not ready yet since your mom has died. And I got so much work to do. I have to be better, you know. We need a better place and everything. Oh, Father, please just think about it. It would be really nice. Okay, honey. I'll think about it. You just be a good girl, okay? While I do my work. Oh, my. We slept on the floor. Oh, my. They slept on the floor outside like that. Oh, Papa, get up, get up. We're on the floor. We're just so tired from day this whole day. And so sad. Okay, let's get in. I'm hungry. Well, I'm going to need to take a nap first, my sweetie. Let me use this bed. I'll try to sleep and come sleep too you know we had a long day and after a while I'll make some food for you okay I'm gonna come and take a nap Papa when I'm gonna get my own bed so sleeping they go and the next day starts it I wish I could have my own little room instead of this big toy that I never play with I have a big toy house here. If you want to see nice toy houses, you can go see the links below the video in the description. Okay, it's food time. Oh, my head is hurting. Oh, it's so noisy. You watch too much cartoons, kid. We gotta make you a new room. What is going on here? There's snowing outside? They're playing with snow? Yeah, Papa. Oh, honey, I'm going to try my best to make you a new room. Really? Oh, please, that would be so nice. Yeah, why are you a bear now? All this food, just I couldn't cook because I can't buy a stove yet. There's no room for me in my stove. So I had to wash it and get rid of it, and we just have to make a fast meal for us. Oatmeal. So, sweetie, come and make yourself a meal from the microwave. Okay, Daddy. I'm coming. 
I'm a big girl now. I can make my own food. And I think I, I chose chips. That's my food, Daddy. I am going to eat chips. You shouldn't eat that. It's not healthy for you. Well, oh my, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? We have to buy her a new nice room in a bigger place. You know, so she can have her own time on TV. And I can also watch my own shows and movies. And, and look, we bought this new kits the bust the dust kit because we really need it to clean out our house because it comes with vacuums and cute little bunnies to keep us company i think so we're getting that and also we got this little campus kit so elsa can have some fun with her new room i'm gonna surprise her can't wait till we do this and build her a new little area and also we're doing the challenge the best friends forever because I think Elsa needs to, to gain a friend. She, she keeps talking about me, you know, meeting Cassandra. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so sad Papa keeps going to work and I'm all alone. Nobody here to take care of me. Oh, hi. Can you be my friend? No. She doesn't want to be my friend. What am I going to do with this room? Okay. It's time to surprise Elsa. We're going to delete all these toys. And we're going to make her new room up here. And are you guys interested? Just go ahead and keep on watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Yes, let's go ahead and delete all these toys. I'm going to make her a new room. And it's one of these kits. The campus kits for the kids and let's try to put it here as best as we can man she's gonna love it just look at this tent it's adorable I love these cute items they are so cute and colorful I hope Elsa will love them and that's her new bed and her new toy and her cute chairs and these are like snacks unfortunately we can't interact with them <laughs> And she has a little radio over there by herself and a toy and we can go you know put on that fire and make some food for us so she is gonna love it elsa come look at your room oh hi oh my dad wants me he wants to show me my new room i guess i got a new room or something i'll see you later Oh my, this is my room. I got a new big toy. This is nice, Papa. Well, Papa's still at work now. But thank you, Papa. Thank you for the surprise that you brought me. Now I can play and I have my own little place here. Well, when is Daddy coming home? I got my little light. In my bed and I got the snack box that I can't eat from they look so good these marshmallows and some snacks why can't I eat from it and my little radio let's check these let's put it on to the sand <laughs> and we're gonna talk to this little guy so he can be my friend yep a lot of nice new stuff as you see they're so cute i love the cute chairs and now i'm gonna go sleep and cry because i'm all alone we want cassandra here okay i'm gonna sit and wait for papa so he can come and open this fire and there he is he got some money 144 that's not much yeah you see sweetie i gotta make more money i gotta do better at my job and then they raise me up and then I can afford to make a bigger place and, you know, get married. Will Papa please do a better job? Yeah, sweetie, so what do you think about your bed? Well, I really like it, Papa. It's nice, especially this. We can, we can grill our hot dogs. <laughs> so, a photo for the first time spending time in your room. Man, this food is good. 
Ooh, yeah, Pop, I really like it. So, how was your stuff? Did you like your other things? Yes, especially the chairs. And the toy, of course. The big house you bought me. And I need to go to sleep now. It's, it's, it's daytime, but I'm tired. And Papa here is sleeping also. And we got a new big vacuum cleaner. As you see, that came with a new kit. And I'm going to try to clean it up and check the level of the dust. But I guess the place is too small, so I can't clean it. Well, maybe later on when we get it bigger. Let me read more books so I can get smarter and then work better. Because I have to try my best for my daughter so she can be more happy. So she is enjoying her her new stuff and her new little area right here. And just look at the cute ducks. Now it's so quiet, we can even hear the ducks. No more loud TVs in the room. Wow. These ducks are beautiful. The pond and the sounds of the, the lake and the sounds of the trees everywhere. Let's take a picture of it. Okay, let's get back to home. She's still asleep. Oh my, she loves it here. Oh no. Now how can I get up? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't get out of this little area. Papa, I'm stuck. How can I get out? The bed is in my way. Oh, Papa, she just left me alone and it's raining outside. The rain is going inside my bed. Okay, we're going to de decorate it all over again. I'm going to have to move some things for you so you can reach your bed. But it's raining. It's raining, Papa. How can I sleep when there's rain all over our stuff? Huh, Papa? And look, it broke my my radio, Papa. Can you fix it? Yeah, I'm gonna come and fix it for you. So you don't get electric. I'll come fix it for you. Here I am. You don't worry. I'll be nice and ready for you. You can listen to your kids' music. Just be careful, Papa. You don't get hurt. Okay. And now I'm going to color here on the floor. Since it's my area, I can color all over. This is so much fun. Oh, oh, oh. I got electric home. You okay? There's a fire. There's a fire. Don't come here, sweetie. There's a big fire. Oh, my. There's a big fire here. It's gonna burn out your tent. You're taking photos? My tent! Where'd it go? Your tent is gone. And your radio is still broken. The rain is just keep wrecking it. Every time I fix it, it wrecks it. I guess we can't have your room outside, huh? I'm gonna have to figure out how to yes. build you a new room, Three. sweetie. Let's Over just two. have some food first. Have some snacks. Come inside from the rain while I figure this out so I can make you a new room. Okay, I'll eat some food now, Papa, and a drink. Please, Papa, build me a new room. Okay, it's time to take a... I'm going to build you a room under in the basement where you can be nice and safe from the rain and the storm. That's why, that's why your radio won't get broken or I won't get electric. Then you won't have a daddy if I die. Yeah. And let's just level this up a little bit downer so we can fit your nice tent in here. We bought a new one for you, my dear. Luckily, we do better in our job. And now we can put everything in. Your table and all your toys and books and nice stuff that you got up here. We're going to put it all downstairs. And also, I'm going to build another room upstairs, you know, like for stairs, and you can go in. So the ring doesn't go inside your room. And yeah, we won't have a tiny room any or a tiny house anymore. Because I had to build an extra room for my daughter. 
some more blocks and we're gonna have a little grill area here a fireplace that we can sit down here and make our food make sure that the water doesn't get into it and the rains and also I'm gonna make you a little bathroom right just for yourself my dear oh thanks Papa you're so sweet And here's the door you like this door mm-hmm see your bathroom is all ready just for you and I'm gonna buy you a little set here and your own little TV so you can have some fun and watch TV and your cartoons your little area so later on you can invite your friends over oh Papa that's nice and also I'm gonna put here the area where we can sit down and you know have our breakfast and food we gotta make sure that we have some plants it's always nice to have plants in our house I think and I put these gates so the fences so you don't fall and look we got a new telescope too yeah this one came with a new update before before the wolf's pack and let's go check it out something I can do even though it's so rainy I have to check it out wow this place looks no, I can see a lot out of it and look I can even see the train a lot of photos huh <laughs> the train just came by wow this is so much fun and it's time to go to work and this time we're going with him Let's see what Cassandra's future husband does at work. How good is he? Oh, hi. How are you? Hi there. So go to your job and you know what your job is. To clean and clean and clean today. And that's the doctor. Go talk to him. Hi. So do I take in the patients and I let them go sit in their beds? No, not yet. You're still early on that. You have to go do your cleaning. Oh, I'm just so angry. How can you? I'm a doctor. That is what I want to be. And you make me mop the bathrooms? Huh. I am so angry. Yeah. Well, just, you have to do it. And here too. In this exercise room. Who made mess here with water? Huh. How can they? I wanted to work with the patients and they're giving me jobs to mop. This is not what I wanted to do. You guys made me so mad. <laughs> oh, a lot of people have nice jobs out there. Can't you see? And me, I have to just mop. Well, I hope you guys pay me well and I hope I get better. I gotta do this really good so they promote me and then I can have do a better job and get more money. And these people here, these kids are just standing there and nobody's taking them to the room. Can I do that? Doctor, I mean, mister, come on, give me another job. Let me go help these patients and, and put them in. No, no, you're not ready yet. No. Oh my. I'll go drink some coffee then. He's so mean, that doctor. I'm gonna drink some coffee. This is what I need. Because I'm getting so angry and I need some time to think. And all I do here is just mop. And I'm a doctor. That's what I studied for. Okay, I'll wash my hands. So the level goes up. Yep, now I'll come back and try with him. Hey! Please, doctor, come on. I can help. You're always busy on this machine. I can help put these patients into their rooms. I'm busy, can't you see? Oh, doctor, come on. I'll help you with the computer then. You know? Other stuff than just mopping. I said no, you can't do that right now. There's just so many patients just waiting there. They need help. Oh my, I just read more books so I can learn more than maybe he'll agree when I level up. While these poor patients just wait there for somebody to take them. Here, come in here please, Dr. Jess. 
Yes? Yeah, I guess we need more help here, as you see. So if you can try to help out, you know, with other things than just mopping. Well, that's what I was telling doctor. He just, hey, hi, doctor. Please give him a different job. And there's just so many patients right here, and they need help. Look at them. They're sick. They're coughing. Told you I need to help you. Just trust me on this. Let me do it. Okay, I'll think about it. Here, go talk to that lady. She's really sick. She's in that room. She has blue hair. She has like a lot of rashes on her body. Go help her out. Well, hi. Here, you need some food. I brought you your food. Oh, hi. You're new here. Are you a new doctor? No, I'm here, but I've been working on the mopping. Mostly. This, you're my first patient. And now, I can decorate these beds. This is something kind of different than mopping. What else I can do? Oh, that's good. Well, I'm really sick. Can you help me out? Well, um, uh, they... I guess I gotta go. We can't do all that, you see. Not yet. Yeah, here's a doctor. He's the main doctor. He'll take care of you. Oh, hi there. Yeah, now you can go. You stop talking a lot, you know. We need to do our job. We don't talk a lot. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, my. I'm gonna go have a snack, I guess. Because, you know, they didn't let me treat the patients yet, I guess. Just gave them food. And I got hungry, now I'm going to make for me some food now. My work is almost done. And as you see, we are almost done. I mean, even making food in the cafeteria. Yeah, we level up. Nice. So let's have this snack, a nice nummy dessert cake. Because it looks so good. Man, it's raining outside. I hope Elsa is good. And now I have to drink a coffee too, so I can level up? I already had my coffee today. Well, two bites and we're done with this. Now it's coffee time. Okay. Trying to level up the best as I can. It's good. And I smell. I need to take a shower. And people are just standing there still. Nobody taking care of them. Let me go use the bathroom real quick. I'm finished. Wash my hands. I'm a doctor. You gotta be clean. Stay clean. So, you're still working there. You haven't moved. You haven't put in the patience. I mean, you still don't let me... Oh, the job is finished. And as you see, he got promoted. He has promoted. More money, that means that means tomorrow we're going to work more jobs and more things to do. We bought this new umbrella thing. Now we can choose colors. I love this item so much. I thought, why don't we just, instead of black umbrella, we can choose our own color of umbrella. That is so cute item. We love it. Here, you can choose your own umbrella too. Why did you make a mess? Don't you understand? I've been mopping the whole day, sweetie. You gotta be careful. Okay, Daddy, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm gonna stop making messes. Wow, my room is so beautiful. I got my own big room and my bathroom. Papa did so hard. To get me my own nice room. It's really pretty yeah, downstairs and I can come here and watch some TV and cartoons. It won't bother Papa while well, he goes to sleep upstairs in his own room. Because he's so tired from his job. So, good night Papa. Good night. And yeah, I can watch this cartoon here. Look at that. That's nice. And I can try to call with some friends. Cassandra, hello, can you come here? Hello? Cassandra? Hi, honey. When are you gonna come over? Well, I don't know. Depends on your dad. 
I guess I'll just watch more TV. Oh, oh I'm so sad. I'm all alone. What's that? There's a monster. There's a monster. I'm hungry too. There's a monster. Help, Daddy. There's a monster under my bed. Daddy, wake up. Oh, sweetie. Don't worry. You just need the spray and just spray on the monster and it goes away. See? Just splash, splash, splash. And it disappears. <laughs> That's how monsters go away. <laughs> no more monsters. Oh, Daddy. I'm so hungry now. I'm going to eat something. He even bought me a little fridge. You know, he's trying to make me independent already because, you know, he's so busy and we have no mommy. Okay. Let me try to cry this out a little bit. Look, at it. it's raining all over again. All over again, it just keeps raining. Hello? Where are you, Elsa? Well, I'm here. I came here. I'm wearing this bear because I'm I'm not happy. Now I can go ahead and do some coloring. Yes. What happened to the lights? So dark here, Papa. Oh, just let me use your bathtub for a while. Yeah, you do your artwork and I'll use your bathtub. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm too tired. So. And it's work time for me, for Papa the second day, and let's see what they give me to work today. So, I got promoted, so I should do better things. So, hi. Hello there, and he is still on his machine. And there's a couple patients here that are sick. And now I can go and check on them. Oh my, finally. Finally I can go check on them and see. Oh, he's really sick. Gotta be careful. Okay, let's see how this job goes. Oh, hi there. How are you? You're not feeling good? Oh, hi. You're a new doctor. Well, I'm going to be working here around more, so. And now let's go take in these new patients now. I can do that finally. Now we won't have to let these kids wait so long outside. Let's take you guys inside your room. One by one. Hi there, girl. Come in. I'll show you your room. You can sit over here on your bed. This bed. And I'll be here in a bit. I have to go take in the other patients, okay? And I'll come check on you. Stay in this room. Just don't get out. Okay. And you come on, you little girl. This is your little bed here. Sit down. Okay, thank you. I'm so sick. I'll come and check you in a bit. I got more patients to put in. Okay? Okay. Taking photos. Yeah. We're... Oh, hi there. How are you? I'm really hot. Can you see my temperature? Okay, let me go check this other patient first. Let's go do this. I hope it goes well. Okay, I'm going to take your temperature. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, that hurt. Sorry. Yeah, I'll check. I'll take your, your test some sample. Oops. Oops. Sorry. You don't know how to do this at all. Sorry. I gotta go. Yeah, hi. Oops. Ouch. Okay. Your 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 sample. Okay. That worked. At least I got one. Sure. Still learning. I'm sorry, girl. I get, oh, good. I got your temperature. Finally. I did this well. Yeah. See, I'm learning. Now let me look at your ears. Yes. Okay. You're sick. And your sample. Oops. Oh my. You're a mess. Yeah, I'm just learning here, kids. So don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Just don't tell anybody. Oops. Did I do that? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to come here and look at these samples and see what's wrong with these kids. Why they're so sick. So I know what kind of treatment to give them. 
uh, let me just type this in. Oh, okay. You go one by one. Nobody's looking at me. Okay. Just, just put that letter there. This is hard, actually. I thought it was going to be easy. <laughs> and these patients are just waiting forever till they finished. <laughs> well, sorry. Oh, hi. You're, you're like an old lady here sitting with the kids area. Well, there's no rooms for you guys. Hi there, boy. Now I can give you a shot. You'll be better. We finally know what's wrong with you. Oh, really? Thank you. Let me get home now. Uh, so, how about you? I'm still hot. You didn't give me my medicine. Well, let me let the other doctors do that because I have some mopping to do. I don't know anything about medicines yet. I can do the mopping. It's more easier, I guess. <laughs> yep, mopping it is easier. And he's finished with his job and he's finally back home. I'm like, oh my, where are you, sweetie? I did a big job today. And look at my new umbrella. It's a watermelon umbrella. And it's so pretty. But I'm just so tired. Where are you? She's still sleeping? Oh my, she slept the whole morning? And she's up at night. She's up in the night and she's sleeping in the morning. Don't you have school, girl? I'm just broken hearted. I want Cassandra to come over. And there's Bella. She just came, hot, came to the door and nobody opened it. So he is sleeping, so... We couldn't see Cassandra today, you guys. Nope, maybe another day. A monster again! <laughs> oh my, all these monsters. Who are these people? What are they doing in our house? They're like checking something. What are you guys doing? They're looking at our house. That's the first time it happened to, to me in the Sims game ever. Hi, what are you guys doing in our door? What are you checking? Jack, Jack. We're making sure you're taking care of that kid very good. Uh, you say, your electricity is off, and how can you live with no electricity? I'll go pay it right now. I just got paid, so luckily. <laughs> wow, we got our electricity back. Now I can see my toys when I play. Please don't stay up so late, sweetie, okay? Well, it's kind of really lonely, isn't it? I guess I really should think about Elsa's, you know, thought of meeting Cassandra. And look, we gotta do some dusting. We have these vacuum cleaners and we still I have no time to clean, basically. Just work and eat and just mopping. How can I dust everything, too? Let's just watch something. Maybe we we'll change our mood. Well, yeah, I finally, you know, getting a nice raise, I can make my house much bigger. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to build more rooms here and make my bedroom bigger bedroom. And we have our only little living room here, you know, where we can cook also in the kitchen. So doing some more decorative stuff in it. Because I guess it's time for me to get married and I'll try to meet Cassandra as Elsa said my daughter and I bought you know another bed here getting the bedroom already and so you guys see if you guys like to see more of Jess and his daughter Elsa with Cassandra and it'll be in this next video coming up where we you know make this house more bigger and we're gonna see the wedding finally and see what goes on. So, thank you guys. By the way, um, I'm going to put some links below. You guys like to check them out, you know, to buy things and stuff. And my website and my other channel on YouTube. If you guys like to go check that out. And my links for Instagram and all that, you know. You guys can check it out in the description. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs>